Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Breslow. I'm going to talk today about uh, liposuction and some questions. This is Madison Kepler. She's our physician assistant. She's going to take us through the question and answers. All right, Dr. Breslow, which liposuction technique gives the best results? So there's a lot of uh, different options for uh, liposuction techniques. There's, uh, and you'll hear a bunch of different terms, tumescent lipo, smart lipo, cool lipo, laser lipo. Uh, they're all pretty much the same in terms of their effectiveness. Uh, liposuction uh, using laser techniques tend to uh, tighten the skin, or there's a claim that they tighten the skin. I, I have not seen that to be the case. There's also an increased risk with laser liposuction that could actually cause burns to the skin. Um, liposuction is really more technique dependent than device dependent. We use some, something called the separation aspiration fat equalization technique, which is the safe technique. And that involves a technique which is used to minimize the, uh, the risk of contour regularities uh, and divots and uh, gives you a consistently a nice, smooth, even result. So can liposuction get rid of cellulite? Liposuction cannot get rid of cellulite. As a matter of fact, liposuction could actually make cellulite worse. Cellulite is a different issue than, than lip lipodystrophy, which is excess fat. Cellulite is a fat storage condition, which affects more than 90% of women to some extent or another. You have to think about cellulite as coils of a mattress. and One coil is up here, one's down here, and it creates dimpling. When you go in with a liposuction can, you can actually break them up and create, uh, it could actually make it worse. So liposuction is not indicated for cellulite and it could actually make it worse. So if a patient did have cellulite, would you recommend something else instead? I would. There are treatments for cellulite. There are no cures for cellulite. Most cellulite treatments are non-invasive treatments that involve um, using some sort of thermal device, whether it be radio frequency or some sort of uh, thermal energy to try and tighten those coils and even out the dimpling. Um, liposuction can be done in the face of um, cellulite, but it has to be done very carefully to, to, so you don't risk uh, making it worse. Okay. So if I wanted the most flat and smooth stomach, would liposuction be the best option for me? That's a question we get all the time. Liposuction and uh, abdominoplasty or tummy tuck are the two uh, most effective treatments for giving someone a flat abdomen. Now, they're, they're, they treat different issues. If you look at what liposuction treats versus what a tummy tuck treats, liposuction just treats the excess skin fat that's just underneath the skin. And for someone who's generally younger, who has tight skin, who just has some excess fat right underneath the skin, liposuction is the best option. A tummy tuck is effective for somebody who has laxity to the skin, may also have some excess fat there, but also has an excess or laxity to the abdominal wall, which is deeper to the, um, it, it's in the deeper layer. And that's often as a result of uh, having been pregnant. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, uh, weight loss, the abdominal wall gets lax and uh, it needs to be tightened. And a tummy tuck actually, an incision is made very low along the bikini line. The excess fat and skin is lifted up, the abdominal wall is tightened, and then the excess fat and skin is removed. So someone who's a good candidate for liposuction is generally not a good candidate for a tummy tuck and vice versa. They treat two different things. Can liposuction remove visceral fat? No, liposuction can only treat the fat that's right underneath the skin. That's called the subcutaneous fat. The two places that you store fat, your body stores fat, is in the subcutaneous fat mm -hmm. and the visceral fat, also called the intestinal fat. It's the fat that's actually attached to the intestines. Um, the first place you gain and lose weight is the visceral fat, the intestinal fat. The intestines get bigger when you gain weight, they get smaller when you lose weight. And it actually pushes out on the abdominal wall. When you lose the weight, it pushes out less and you get a laxity to the abdominal wall. So someone who has visceral fat is not a candidate for liposuction. They're also not a candidate for a tummy tuck because they need to lose that visceral fat. Okay. So the best time to come for liposuction would be when you're at your ideal weight? When you're at your ideal weight and you have that, if you have excess skin, um, well, for liposuction, if you just have that, liposuction is for someone who's in shape at their ideal weight and just has areas of fat that they just can't get rid of with, uh, with uh, exercise and weight loss. Okay. Now, can liposuction help with diabetes? Liposuction can help with diabetes to the extent that it, um, it kind of jump starts the process by getting a person in shape. You know, diabetes is subject to um, excess fat along the body. It's not going to cure diabetes. It can help in terms of motivating patients to get into shape and, reduce, and remove the excess fat on their own. Okay. And how many pounds usually do you remove? When you do liposuction? Not as many as you would think or someone would hope. It's usually, uh, you know, anywhere from, it's, uh, 
it's usually a couple pounds here or there, um, depending upon how much uh, is, is done. There's large volume liposuction. Any, anything over 5,000 cc's is generally done in a hospital or in an overnight setting. But it's usually not as much pound loss as someone would think. So it's more of contouring? It's more of contouring, exactly. Okay. And is liposuction only a temporary solution or can it be permanent? Well, liposuction is a is a correction for contour irregularities, but for someone who's going to gain and lose weight, they can they can still it can still be affected afterwards. Um, you generally don't gain the weight back in the area that it's been corrected because those fat cells have been removed. But um, it's I would the best time to do it is for someone who's again at their ideal weight, who's in shape and just has that area that they can't get rid of. All right, that pretty much sums it up. Thank Thanks, you. guys. 